So now that we know how to draw cubes in two-point perspective, and we also know how to draw more complex forms like our imagined architecture project in two-point perspective, I want to show you how to also be able to draw basic letters in two-point perspective. So if you would, turn to a new blank page in your sketchbook, and this time you can set up a horizon line either very high, middle, or low on your page, anywhere that you want, that is totally up to you. It's gonna work no matter where you put your horizon line. And then create your left and right vanishing point. Now the best way to think about drawing a letter in two-point perspective is to start always with a vertical line, the same way, just like you're gonna start a box. But now, instead, we are only gonna draw one side, either the left side or the right side. And you can pick and it works both ways. So I'm gonna draw a right side to a box with the bottom of the line going to the right vanishing point and the top of the line going to the right vanishing point. And then to cut the other side of that box off, I'm going to use a vertical. So this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but now this plane is diminishing to that right vanishing point. Whereas if we were drawing this block letter in one point perspective, we would see it as a box looking at a straight forward with vertical and horizontal lines. So I'm going to show you drawing a J, taking this plane and transforming it into a very simple block letter. Now this time I will still have vertical lines, but any line that needs to show the width is now going to diminish to the right vanishing point. So vertical and right diminishing lines is all that you'll have. If you've drawn a left facing letter, all of your width lines will now diminish to the left. So you can see how this sort of starts to look like that whole letter is tilted and turned because it's diminishing to my right vanishing point. And I'll show you in just a minute what a left facing letter would look like. So just remember with this type of letter, there, is, there are two types of lines. There are vertical lines and there are diminishing lines representing the width, anything going across. Whereas in one point perspective, those width lines would have been a perfect straight across horizontal. Now we've just tilted them down towards one of the vanishing points. Now once you erase your extra lines, we are ready to add the depth part of our letter and it's gonna go now to the other, the second vanishing point. For me, it's the left vanishing point. So I'm going to take the corners that can go to the vanishing point to the vanishing point. So I'm going to start with those top two corners and I'm going to go ahead and cut the back edge of that off with a vertical just so I go ahead and establish how deep into space I want this letter to go. And now I can move to that third corner and this time this is a corner that I can draw until it runs behind the front face of the letter. So that line is going to stop there. Now any corner like this one that has to go through the face of the letter to get to the vanishing point and this one, don't draw those lines. Remember those are going to be the transparent parts that we would not be able to see if this were a solid letter. So for those corners I'm going to skip and continue on to my next corners. So I can see the left side of this portion of the J and I'm only going to extend that line until it lines up with the top section because I want the thickness the depth of my letter to all be consistent. So now, because the front two vertical lines match up, the back two vertical lines match up as well. So that top section is gonna tell me exactly where to put in the vertical line for that bottom section as well. Now I can continue moving on to the other corners of my letter, and I'll extend that one. Now in order to finish the bottom plane right there, if I look at the front line, it diminishes to the right vanishing point, so therefore I know that the back line will also diminish to the right vanishing point. Um, this is just sort of like that crisscross technique, crisscross your bottom corners to make your bottom plane. And so now that we have that bottom plane complete, now we're going to move on and complete our last corner which is that far right one over there. And this is another line that I can only draw a little ways until it disappears behind the front face of that letter. Now the last line that I need is to place in this back edge here. And since again, the front line that's matching it goes to the right vanishing point, that back line will match it and go to the right as well. 
So now I'm going to show you how to block in a left facing letter where I start with my plane that's diminishing to that left vanishing point. And here is an A just to show you sort of what that would look like in really fast speed time. Um, next I'm going to show you what a letter would look like if it overlaps the horizon line. So since this letter is at basically my eye level overlapping the horizon, I don't end up seeing the top or bottom of this letter. So hopefully this gives you a good introduction to how to draw block letters in two-point perspective. They can face the left vanishing point or the right. It works both ways. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you with individual letters.